Hello folks, Rob AK Maximum RD here and I'm just throwing this uh, video together. Uh, I wasn't really thinking of doing a video but uh, sometimes the uh, motivation strikes you while you're doing something. And what this video is about basically is clean your, clean your damn keyboard. <laughs> uh, I actually haven't thoroughly cleaned my keyboard in a long long time. I have a nice Logitech uh, wireless keyboard which I love it uh, works very well but the thing is it well if you're like me and you type on it every day you have everything from your uh, you know dead skin that naturally falls off your your hand on a daily basis you know on a microscopic level you wouldn't notice it but also um, the dust that accumulates in your home we don't even have any pets and we don't smoke so keep that in mind though I've not cleaned this keyboard probably in about six months so with that in mind just just to show you what I'm doing here I uh, of course I've already wiped it down and vacuumed the keyboard and yet whoa <laughs> that is not enough you just pry your keys off like so and to make things a hell of a lot easier on yourself later, what you'll want to do is uh, just as you're prying them off, line them up in an orderly fashion like this. So you'll know when you put them back what order to put them back in. And uh, anyways, you just pop them all off. And uh, yeah, for most modern keyboards, any tiny little flathead screwdriver like that will do the job. Just hold the key as you pry it off. Be gentle, of course, you don't want to force anything, break or crack anything. Modern keyboards are all pretty much just cheap plastic now too, so. Um, so there you go, and you just continue putting them in order like that. Now, let me show you what I mean here. I have this little tiny uh, USB keyboard hooked up in the meantime, just in case I have to type something. But uh, here's the Logitech keyboard. Now look at that. Take a close look. As I said, we don't have pets and we do not smoke. And we keep a clean house. This is just normal accumulation. Although there, we do get a lot of dust in here, unfortunately. And uh, this is the result of that. So let's zoom in for a closer look. As I put it on macro. And there you have it. Look. Look at that. Now, if this is six months in just a regular household, um, can you imagine a household where there's pets or the people smoke? Ugh. Crazy. So for the most part, um, you know, it's probably going to have to get really, really dusty and uh, drop a lot of gunk in there before it actually starts affecting performance or how the keys work or anything like that. But just a, a quick note, this is what you should do. Every once in a while, just pry all the keys off like I showed you. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into our laundry room and basically just run the uh, vacuum cleaner over it with the uh, the brush you know the little attachment on the vacuum cleaner that's got like the bristles and you just suck out all this gunk suck out all the gunk clean it use some fantastic or a very light uh, cleaning product put it on a nice uh, chamois or well, whatever rag whatever wipe it off suck the dust out with the vacuum cleaner, wipe it off, and then just go through the keys that you've laid out nicely. And uh, then I actually go through each one of these individual pieces of the keyboard. Each key, each piece, I go through individually with my wet rag or chamois that's soaked down with uh, Fantastic or Windex. And I, whoops, excuse me, and I wipe off each key individually. And as I'm wiping off each key, and my keyboard's already been cleaned out, sucked out all the dust and dirt and grime, uh, as I 
clean each key, I put them back into position. They just snap back into position. And in the end, you're going to have a perfectly functioning, brand new, perfectly clean keyboard. All right, so that's just a quick tip I decided to send your way. If you're having a problem with the key sticking, you know, you're typing something and it keeps uh, pressing the same key over and over uh, on one stroke, or you have to constantly press and you're not getting any response, chances are this is the problem. Underneath the keys, all the dust and grime has built up and your key has become stuck. So just do this, put it all back together, and you're going to have a keyboard that looks like new. Alrighty, that's Rob's quick PC tip of the day that has actually nothing to do with gaming, but, well, I don't know, unless you use your keyboard for gaming <laughs> in some first-person shooters or something. Alrighty, that's it. Just thought I'd uh, throw that one out there. I'm going to go back to watching uh, Mystery Science Theater here while I clean my keyboard. Bye-bye.